Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shem. All day and every day. You understand? And we'll get, we'll get into a little health today, man. We, we ain't rock health in a while. You understand? And um, Brother Nagai was prophesying the downfall of America, downfall of the so-called white man. But Esau turned everything upside down. Esau, Esau turned everything upside down. Now, when you go to the doctor, when your, when your pressure is up, the doctor said, Mr. So-and-so, you got to, uh, it's too much salt. You eat too much salt, lock it off. Mind you, they got good salt in basketball. They got iodine salt, you're not supposed to get iodine salt. You're supposed to get pure sea salt when you go to the supermarket, okay? What salt does, it has electrolytes in the body which replenish you all yourself. But it replenish all yourself. Now, brother, give me Exodus 15, 26. Drink juice. All right? Exodus 15, 26. Huh. All right? Give me that real quick. The book of Exodus, chapter 15, verse 26. Come on. And, you five. and said, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice, of the Lord thy power. Yo, so if you diligent hearken to the voice of, of Yahweh, thy power, go ahead. Yes. I will do that which is right in his sight. Yeah, you gotta do it right in the sight of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. Now if you do right in the sight of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, he's gonna heal you from all your sickness. Okay. Right. Go ahead. Uh, in his sight, and will give ear unto his commandments. And give ear to his commandments. And, and keep all his statutes. And keep all the statutes. I will put one of these diseases uh -huh. upon thee. Yeah, the most I say he will put none upon these diseases upon me. Now, what our people have? They have sugar, high blood pressure. They got HIV. They got AIDS. They got people suffering with migraines. You know what I'm saying? They got people suffering with low energy level, low testosterone. Right? Too much estrogen. You understand? Now, as I was saying earlier, when you got a sickness or high blood pressure, the doctor said, hey, that's too much salt in your body. No, but it could be too much meat. It could be too much meat in your diet. The diet has to be a balance. It has to be a certain balance. You understand? Now, you, can, you can consume sugar, but you can't consume too much of it. You consume too much, you can consume salt, but you can't consume too much of it. There's a balance. There's a balance. Now, when you dehydrate it, when you dehydrate or you go to the trauma center, what do the doctors put on you? They give you IV. I, I hear children, they call it drips. What is drips? Drips is saline water. What does the water consist of? Salt. That's what it consists of. But they got the audacity, the doctor got a audacity to tell your pressure's high because it's too much salt, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. And when your drips is contain the salt. Come on, man. Come on. Now, when your eyes dry, uh, when your eyes is itching, when it dries out, what do you get? You get Visine or eye drops. What is good? That's consistent? It's consistent salt. You need salt in your body. When you're working out sweating, you know, when you're working out sweating, and you see your shirt the next day, and you pull your shirt up, what color is it? White. And it's white. What is that? That's salt. You need salt in your body. Now, you can use salt in a physical sense, and you can use salt in a, in a spiritual sense. You know, when you mop your house and your and mop your businesses, right? You get some salt and you put it in a bucket of water, it casts out those unclean spirits from your business. And guess what? Your business gonna grow. But you gotta believe in your how Shem Yahweh Shai. I'm gonna get the scriptures to back what I'm, what I'm saying. That's right. Bring it out. Bring you it out. Bring it out. I'm gonna get the scriptures. Bring it out. Now, you finish reading um, ah, Exodus 15, 26, right? Yes, yeah, so hold on. I'll get two more things right there. Yeah, go ahead. Our commandment. And will keep on change. Um, his statutes. I will not put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptian. Upon for, what? Upon the Egyptian. Come on. For I am the Lord that healeth thee. Yes, sir. I am the Lord that healeth thee. When you look at the word that healeth, that word go back to H strong A7495. It means to heal. Helpful of God. Healer. Physician of men. 
So when we in the shoot, we supposed to be positions of men. You understand? You're not supposed to tell anybody in your family, hey, take this pill. Come on, man. Let's go back to this track. Because Esau, doctors, they're a public carry to the left where they mix potions and so on. You understand? They sorcerers. So if somebody's sick in your family or whatever, they can, hey, drink some of them salt water. Drink some salt water. Drink some water, man. So it can replenish yourselves. Alright? Because a lot of these youth, a lot of these youth, they don't drink water. They drink a lot of a sugary sweet, sweet drink. And when it's time to stand up long, you can't. Because you, your system is full of sugar. Toxic. Toxic. You understand? Now, give me Exodus 23, 24 through 25. Exodus 23, 24 through 25. Exodus 23, 24 to 25. Come on. He said, Thou shalt not bow down to their gods. Your God shall not bow down to their gods. Go not serve them. Uh -huh. Not do after their works. Come on. But thou shalt utterly overthrow them. Yep. And quick and, and quiet break them, break down their image. That's right. And ye shall serve the Lord your God. Yep. And he shall bless thee. Bless thy bread, slap thee, mm -hmm. and thy water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. What's the thing? Will take sickness from the midst of thee. When you come into this knowledge, you're supposed to be start getting into health. What beat root could do? What limit could do to the body? What watermelon could do? Because watermelon is a natural Viagra. Bring it out, bring it out. Watermelon is a natural Viagra. Bring it out. They have the chemicals of sexualine. They have sexualine in it. You know, so Jaleese is the one that clears your blood flow, your, your blood, your flow more properly. And it makes your, makes your rise for the occasion. Every man supposed to have a juice or a blender. You're supposed to get a vitamin, or you're supposed to get a ninja that could break down these, um, these vegetables or fruits. You know what I'm saying? Fruits to nourish and replenish your blood cell. Vital nutrients and, and so on. You understand? I mean, you could do a juice and drive for a whole seven days, man. You know how good you would feel? To detoxify your system. And it's going to regenerate your face, it's going to regenerate your skin. Your skin on your face and your whole body is going to regenerate you. If you 80, you're going to look like you 60. If you 60, you're going to look like you 40. You understand? One of the best medicines in Trinidad, they don't even know it's about carbonated soda. It's in the orange box. Niggas don't, niggas don't buy that. That should be most one of the expensive things in Trinidad, man. They should charge a hundred dollars. That's a miracle thing, man. You brush your teeth with that. Because when you go to the sea in Honduras, they don't use Colgate. They go to the sea and brush it in the sand water. They, they, they clean their face because that salt replenish your skin, your, 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 your skin. You understand? I got cancer now. You understand? The sea is salt. Right. Now, if you got problems with your digestion, you go to the sea and you drink one cup of sea water, and guess what? All that toxin is going to flush out of your system. Right. It's going to flush out. You go to the bottom of the ocean, you get that sand, you, you, you bathe in that sand. You understand? Niggas in Trinidad, they don't even know that, man. And they surround it by water. Everybody puts out beautiful skin up in there, man. Everybody. But they love church's chicken. They love KFC. That's what they love. They love cigarettes. They love sea drinks. All that is breaking your immune system down, man. All that is breaking your immune system down, man. So we're supposed to become healers. That's one of our gifts. How we become healers? By studying the character of carrots, celery, um, spinach. You understand? What makes us well in a smoothie which can replenish um, your body? You understand? Because what vegetables and fruits is good because all of them have fiber. All of them has fiber for your digestive system. Anybody is true. Nobody supposed to have a big stomach. Everybody's stomach supposed to be nice and flat. Really and truly. You understand? So now we gotta practice what we preach. 
not only be a hearer, but be a what? A doer. Apply this to your life. Apply this, man. Right? Okay? So, that's a beautiful scripture you read there. Give me Psalms 103, verse 3. Like, of a drug, a, a drug addict. When a drug addict is overdosed with drugs, what do the, uh, what do the doctors do? They put IV in the system. What the IV do? It replenishes cells because the IV is what? It's full of the salt. That's salt. That's salt. Right. If you take your drug and you fight in drugs issue, take a cup of water and put a little salt in it, put a little bar carbonate. You don't have bar carbonate, put some sea salt. And drink that, right? That's gonna replenish your cells. You take bar carbonate. You wake up in the morning, you brush your teeth with it, put it on your toothbrush. You brush your teeth with it. You take some and you could put it in a cup and make it, put some water, make it into a paste. Wash your face with that. Leave it on your face for like five minutes. All right, it's gonna take all that acne. It's gonna clean. It's gonna replenish your face, man. You understand? If you got bad feet, if your woman have bad feet, let her soak her feet in Epsom salt. Go your way. All right. You can also soak it in vinegar too. Huh? You can also soak it in vinegar. You can soak it in vinegar. Bragg's vinegar. All right. Now somebody read Psalms 103. Psalms 103 and, uh, and three. And three. Come on. Yeah, who? Who forgiveth all thy iniquities? Come on. Who healeth all thy diseases? Who healeth all thy diseases? The most high heal the diseases. You gotta ask your high worship your shot, please heal me and so on. And he's gonna direct you what you need to take for your body. You understand? This system is programmed that you should eat three meals a day. Really truly not supposed to eat three meals a day. You're supposed to really eat one big meal, man. If you get hungry after that, pop a smoothie. A shake. That's, I ain't talking about that punch right there. That's bullshit. All that's full of sugar. One lady said, oh, in my punch, I don't use sugar. But she uses sweet condensed milk. That's more worse than sugar, you damn idiot. You killing your people, man. And these niggas love punch. These niggas love punch, man. Sugar is the number one. Sugar is a drug. Sugar is a drug. It's a drug. And that's the number one sugar. That's the number one drug in the world. The conglomerates like Church of Chickens and KFC and Pizza Boys and, and Checkers and so on. They put salt in their food and, and, and what in their drinks. So it could be highly addictive. So you keep going back, you keep going back. You understand? Alright, so you finished reading that out? Yeah. Um, Give me Jeremiah 30 verse 17. You can hear me from there or you want to go closer? Jeremiah 30 verse 17. 30 verse 17. The book of Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17. Come on! For I will restore health unto thee. The Musa said you're going to restore health unto thee. How are you going to restore health unto thee? By what knowledge? By knowledge. By studying, not studying, man. You gotta study fruits and vegetables. What dashi could do to me? What sweet potato could do to me? What beetroot could do to me? They say, well, I'm gonna get a beetroot from a punch man. Yeah, but he don't even use sugar. So that destroy the vital nutrients that's in beetroot because sugar's there. Sugar destroyed it. It's destroyed it. Do you remember a little agava, a little pure honey? You gotta be careful what honey you use. Because some of this honey is, 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 is fake. Nothing but pure sugar. You understand? Alright. Finish reading that out? Nah. I can help that you know. I will restore health yeah. unto thee. The most I say you're gonna restore health unto thee. You got a lot of young cats, man. They eating all types of garbage out there, man. They eat all types of garbage. You as a camp leader, you're supposed to be stressing to your man, your 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 crew about health. Man. Well how you gonna stress that when you eat all types of shit? Man, 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 man. Well you eating all types of garbage, man, camp man. leaders. Man, man, man. Man, man, man. Come on, camp leaders, wake up, man. Bring it out, bring it out. Start teaching your man about health. 
And start That's getting right. into exercise too, man. Bring it out. You need exercise. That's right, Doc. Bring it out. To sweat out them toxins from your body. That's right, Doc. Bring it out. Even me, I have, I've been lacking in exercise, but I'm, I'm definitely going to get back into it. That's what I'm at. Uh, if I will stir out the deep, and I will heal the uh, deep of thy womb, said the Lord. Come on. Because they call thee the outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. That's right. Now give me Matthew 5.13, huh? Uh, you know. Matthew 5.13. We we'll won't get deep into salt, because the scriptures, all over the scriptures in the Bible, it says salt. It says salt. And I'm going to prove it to you. Matthew 5.13. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, he said, ye are the salt of the earth. We are the what? Ye are the salt of the earth. He said, we are the salt of the earth. Come on. Yeah. If the salt have lost its savor, Come on. wherewith shall it be salted? Uh -huh. it, it, is, it is then torn good for nothing. But, said, yeah, go ahead. But to be cast out and to be trodden on the, on the feet of That's men. Right. They said, we are the salt of the earth. Salt also means wisdom. So it means wisdom. We are the wisdom. We have the knowledge through the spirit of Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shah. If you don't have this knowledge, that means that you're good for nothing. Mm. For the knowledge is what? The law. Uh, because we're teaching the law. Give me uh, Colossians 4, verse 6. Why not? Colossians 4, verse 6. Now we're going to do a sit down video on song. We're going to get more deep into it. Because when you see witchcraft movies, right? When you see witchcraft movie, when that person is trying to run from the demons, what do they do? They put salt around them. Yeah. Uncle, listen. Yeah. They put salt around them so the demons won't come to you. The demons back off because salt can fight on spiritual on the physical sense. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to bring the scriptures out. Give me Colossians 4 verse 6. The book of Colossians chapter 4 verse 6. Come on! He says, let your speech always be with grace, seasoned with salt. Seasoned with what? With salt. Seasoned with what? With salt. Seasoned with salt. Wisdom. Let your speech be with what? Grace, right on? Yeah. And seasoned with salt. Right. We'll be talking to each other with wisdom and understanding. You know, I can I came by my house yesterday. I came out of the house, we drank a little something, we had a good time yesterday, man. Right? And our conversation was holy. Seasoned with what? With salt. You understand? And we got nice, but hey, but still the conversations came out, you know, spiritually. Yeah. Give me Ecclesiasticus, Sarah 39, verse 26. You need salt. You need salt in your body. You need salt. So the doctor said your pressure is high because of salt. Get the hell out of here. Your pressure is high because of the white flour. Your pressure is high because all the sugar you, you, you take it in. Your pressure is high because of all the meat that you're consuming. That's where your pressure is high. You gotta remember the doctors are sorcerers. They are witches. They are warlocks. And witches and warlocks, they don't like salt. They don't like salt. That's why you see scary movies. To run from a, a, a demon, they put salt on a circle, and that person got to stay in that circle so the demons won't touch them. Come on, man. Come on. Yeah, go ahead, Doc. Yeah. Come on, nah, 26, bro. Read. Read, read, read. Blessed is the man that has a victorious wife. Ecclesiastes 39, 26. 39, 26. My kids can tell you, man, I can a lot of salt. He took the domestic. He's the Ecclesiastes 39 and 26. Come on! The principal thing for the, the principal thing. Come on! For the whole use of All men's right. life. Let me see the baby now. I want to see you. Hey, let me see the baby. I want to see the baby. Now. All right. Go ahead, read it again now. Huh? Ecclesiastes 39 and 26. Come on! The principal thing for the whole use of man's life are it's, water. Yes, yeah, the principal thing of man's life is what? Water. Water. You need water. You need H2O. Because your body is 75% water. But these people in Trinidad, they don't drink a lot of water. They drink Cokes and Sprite, Caribbean Cool, Applejack. That's what they drink. They drink a lot of soda now. And they give their babies sodas and juices. 
You're supposed to give your baby a lot of water. Because your baby at one years old, two years old, three years old, they still they brain still in that developing stage. The brain needs a lot of water. And your brains need good fat in your body. You need good fat like avocado. Pure butter, not blue band. Blue band is shit. It's a lot of chemical. That's the most worst butter you could or margarine you in Trinidad, man. Right? If you want good butter, you gotta get carry go butter or ghee. That's the best butter in Trinidad. But these niggas don't know. These niggas don't know. They get blue band because it's cheap. Just because it's cheap, that don't make it right. Yeah, Sometimes you gotta spend a little extra money for your health. You gotta spend a little extra money for your health. Because your funeral rule is very expensive. The doctor bill is very expensive. You understand? Yeah, go ahead, Doc. Bring it out, bring it out. Fire! Fire! Give me fire! Give me fire! When you're taking a hot shit in your apartment, burn a match. It'll clear the bathroom. You don't need those um, damn sprays. Lysol's a good spray. Lysol's real good. A uh, Lysol's full of alcohol. You understand? Niggas, please, you alcoholic, don't spray lights on your mouth, you damn idiot. Yeah, Mr. Lysol, damn idiot. Iron and salt. Yeah, and say iron, you need iron to cook your food. Alright, don't cook your food in aluminum, you're a damn idiot. Cook your food in iron, iron pot. Iron pot is the best way to cook your food. And you need iron in your blood cells, you need iron. They got, they got something called iron deficiency. Okay? Certain foods that you eat, like um, cassava, like dashing, like sweet potato, gives you iron in your blood. You understand? Green fig. You tell a punch man, give me a green fig punch and leave it with the sugar. You beating that pussy all night. Yeah. You beating that punani all night. Green fig, green fig punch. Without the sugar. Yeah. If you got a one minute man at home and he can't rock that punani, tell him get a green fig punch yeah. without the sugar. Yeah. And he gonna give you a nice service. You might not be able to walk in the morning. <laughs> or you might not be able to <laughs> Or you might not be able to walk. Go ahead, huh? Sure. And say what? Sure. And say salt. You need salt. Your body needs salt. Your salt replenishes your body. That's why a lot of men aging. They aging the, the, in the way they look. There's not enough salt in their body. Bicarbonated salt. When you wake up, drink a bicarbonated water. Put a teaspoon or two, or, or two depends the size of your glass. Put in your water when you wake up. It's going to filter out your colon. It's going to rejuvenate your body. Drink water, a bicarbonated water, before you eat in the morning. Uh, hot tea. And try to get accustomed to eating after 12. Because when you don't eat in the morning, your HG, your HG level is high. Hormone growth is high. Don't eat in the morning. Eat after 12. Okay? That's a human growth. Okay, so that increase what? Your testosterone. You have a lot of energy. Because when you eat early in the morning, it makes you sluggish and you want to go back to sleep. Because you got a big ass gut and your ass gets sleepy. You don't want to do nothing. Wake up in the morning, drink your tea, or, right? If you're hungry around 10 o'clock, or juice, blend something. Yeah. Eat after 12. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, because you get that niggeritis right after you eat. And your body take all the energy and focus on your colon to break down that food that you eat. And that's why you get sleepy and fatigued and tired. Because you ate too much. You understand? Like a baby. When a baby gets that breast milk, what happened? That baby starts yawning and what do you want to do? You go to sleep. You want to go to sleep. Yeah, read that out. Flour of wheat 
Honey. It's a flower of wheat and what? Honey. Honey, yep. Milk and the blood of the grape. Yep, the blood of the grape. That's why a lot of brothers in the shoot drink a lot of yanya. Wine is good for you, huh? But you gotta be careful what wine you drink. Yeah. You know, we can't afford the expensive wine, so we settle for what we can get. You understand? Huh? Yep. I knew this old man, I used to work with him and I, at Ocean Energy and, uh, in Texas, in Houston. The man was 70 years old. I kid you not. He was the best looking 70 years old man I ever met in my life. Because you know what he do? He drink a glass of wine before he go to sleep every night. Because wine has antioxidant that replenish your blood cells. It replenishes your blood cells, man. Red wine. He drink that every night, man. The man got more energy than any youth I ever met at that time. Bring it out, bring it out. The man, he, he jogs every morning, and before he goes to sleep, he drink a glass of wine, man. And you sleep better, too. You sleep better. You understand? Oil and fluid. Yep. All right, stop. Because salt is an antiseptic. Salt is an antiseptic. It's a medicine. It's a medicine for your body, man. If you got sickle cell trait, you got sickle cell, sickle cell, or they call it jaundice out here, you gotta, you gotta drink more carbonated because it fights off the bad radicals in your body. You feeling weak in the morning? You feeling fatigued? You gotta drink more carbonated salt in the morning. Drink it before you go to sleep. It's gonna replenish your cells. Don't give your son no Panadol or Tylenol, man. That's the worst thing you can do. <laughs> yup, and a lot of these youth don't drink a lot of water. And women gotta drink more water too. Eight glasses a day. But the woman said, give me a heart chair now. The woman said, give me a coach now. That's why these women have a lot of yeast infection in their vagina. And they got a strong odor in their vagina because they don't drink enough water. When you go into some of these women, they, they put you smell like catfish and crabs and shrimps. I smell tart. I smell tart, huh? Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. They look like Wesley Snipes with a dress. Vagina smell tart, huh? And the, and the vagina is naturally. It, 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 the vagina, the vagina is like a self-cleaning oven. Yeah. The vagina cleans itself. You don't need to put dush in your vagina, man. The vagina cleans itself. That's why a woman has like a white, has like a white creamy thing in her vagina, man. It's cleaning itself, man. How you clean yourself when you're drinking a lot of coke? I'm drinking a lot of Sprite. The, the, the vagina is full of moisture. The vagina is full of moisture, man. You understand? So give me um, Numbers 18, verse 19. That's where a nigga, a nigga quick to get that punch, man. A nigga's quick to get that punch. All that sugar. Numbers <laughs> 18. That's why these niggas don't read a book. Go ahead. All the heavy. All the what? All the heavy offerings of the holy things with the children of Israel. With the children of Israel. That's Numbers 18, verse 19. Come on. Israel, offer unto Yahweh. Come on. Have I given thee uh -huh. and thy sons and thy daughters with thee by a statue forever? Come on. It is the covenant of salt. It's the covenant of what? Salt. It's the covenant of what? Salt. It's the covenant of salt. Salt means what? Wisdom right there. It means wisdom. Now the Israelites in this truth don't know about these scriptures, man. Salt. Salt is all over the scriptures, man. Why you think when we, when we went to the Red Sea, that sea was what? It was sea water. It, it was a representation of cleaning us from what? From our sins. You understand? If you feel like your business ain't growing, uh, developing, and so on, put salt in your business. Bring a little salt. Bring a little salt. 
and say a prayer in the Hebrew. That's right. Say a prayer in the Hebrew. Anoint your business. Anoint your house. Anoint your house, man. Your mother coming against you. Your brother, your uncle coming against you. Anoint your house and cast up the spirits out of your house. Bring it out. Bring it out. And we're going to prove it out of the scripture. Because we ain't down with witchcraft. We ain't down with opium. We ain't down with voodoo. Fuck all that religion. We're going to come with dust, says the Lord. That's right. Give me Leviticus 213, man. Leviticus 213. All right, you got two more breaks? Quick up. Forever before you hover unto thee. Come up. And to thy seed with thee. Come up. All right. Leviticus 2 and 13. Yeah, come on. Leviticus 213. Leviticus 213. Read off. Read off. That every oblation of, the, of thy feet offering shall thou season with salt. Yeah, season with what? Yeah, man. You gotta remember, your house is about flavor. Your house is about flavor, man. Give me Job. I think Job 6-6. Six, six. Give me that real quick. The Most High is about flavor. He's a black man. So-called black man. He's a brother. So the Most High is about flavor. That's right. That's what the scripture said. We are the sword of the earth. Because when you taste our cooking, you taste that seasoning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you taste the white man cooking, oh, God, it's a waste of time. <laughs> taste the white man steak and taste the black man steak. Out is the so-called black man steak is going to be policy. The white man says, oh God, you want some salt. Yeah. When you go to a black man, a white man barbecue, you gotta bring your own seasoning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you gotta tell them, can I put this back on the barbecue pit because it's not cooked? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because a so-called white man likes for steak bloody. Yeah. Uncle no. Yeah. They love their steak what? Yeah. Medium yeah. red. Yeah. Not us. We like our shit well done. You know what I'm saying? We like it well done. Yeah, the white man is the devil, Uncle. I saw it set up. Yep. Okay. Joshua. Wrong. Yep. Give me Job. Give me Job. I have it. Job 6 6. Job 6 6. Job 6 6. Go ahead. Can that which is unsavory be eating without salt? Yeah, can that? That is what? Unsavory? Uh huh. Be eating without salt? Go ahead. Is there any taste in a white human egg? Yeah, is there any taste in a white egg? Fry egg with no, uh, no salt. No, not good. Cool. Fry egg with no salt. You are, oh, shit. Oh, gosh. Let me see Punch Man sell his punch without no sugar. See, he ain't gonna make money. That nigga ain't gonna make money. Niggas ain't gonna go over there because ain't no sugar. Eat an egg without no salt. Sell a gyro without no salt. Hmm. These niggas ain't gonna buy no jay. That dude gonna go out of business in less than a week. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, that Campbell meat is full of salt. Yeah. And niggas love salt. So eat an egg without no salt. They ain't gonna have no flavor. They ain't gonna have no flavor. If I go to Uncle's house and give me an egg without no salt, I say, Uncle, thank you, but you know, I don't want it. You eat it. You eat it, nigga. Two of six, six in hell for that. Yeah, go ahead. 
and as for thy uh, nativity in the day thou with is it what nativity nativity nativity, yeah. nativity. Yeah. we don't use birthdays we use nativity what is your nativity yeah, yeah, as, yeah. what day you was born yeah. we don't say hey what is your birth we don't we don't use that what is your nativity go ahead right. and as the days of thy nativity in the day thou was born go ahead. thy navel was not cut yeah, the navel, so in yeah. other words, the baby was attached to the, a biblical court. Right, yeah. Go ahead. Neither was yeah. thou washed in water yeah, go ahead. to supply thee. Uh -huh. Thou was not salted uh -huh. at all, uh -huh. nor swaddled at all. Yeah, because when that baby come out of the vagina, yeah. what they did in the ancient world, they rubbed that baby with salt. Because at that time, He's more, patron, uh, he's more prone to get any disease or whatever the case might be. So what they did, after they bathed the baby, they um they they they, they covered the baby with salt to fight off any disease or anything. You know what I'm saying? So it's an antiseptic. It's any uh, antiseptic. It's in the scriptures. It's antiseptic. They fight off any disease. In Ezekiel 16 verse 4. You understand? The scriptures are bad, man. The scriptures are bad. Or carbonated is in the scriptures too. It's called nitric. Or carbonated, called nitric. Or uh, carbonated, fight cancer. Off. Fight cancer. If you know anybody in your family that has cancer, give that person person or carbonated soap. Mix it with a little molasses and mix it with Bragg's vinegar, and it's gonna wipe that cancer off in, the, in two or three weeks. But they gotta drink it three times a day. Because you gotta remember, uh, uh, carbonate is highly alkaline. Diseases live in your body when your body is acidic. Okay? That's why anybody that uses drugs, their body's acidic. Bring it out. Their body's acidic. That's why they look tired. That's why they look fatigued. That's why they all skinny and shriveled up. Because their body's acidic. It doesn't have no alkaline. Come on, keep it cool, guys. So now, when you give a druggy IV, when you give him those drips, and when you give him salt water, it's gonna replenish his body. You understand? It's gonna replenish him. Now, we read Ezekiel 16:4, right? Now give me 2 Kings chapter 2, 19 through 22. I ain't gonna be too long with it. Yeah. 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 You can put on um, the beautiful use of salt. Uh, to name this video, yeah, you know, come with a good plate, uh, good title. Second Kings 19 and 22. Come on. Whom has done reproaching and blasphemed? No, no. Now I want to, let me, let me read that. Second Kings 2, 19. Yeah, Second Kings 2, 19 through 22. Right. Come on, on. Isaac. Oh, same sex. Hmm? I'm gonna show you how. I'm gonna show you something right here, man. I'm gonna show you something right here. Man, the book of Second Kings. Everybody there. Chapter two, nineteen to twenty-two. Come on. He said, and the man of the city said, said the man of the city. Go ahead. Said to Elisha. Alicia, go ahead. Behold, I pray thee. Come on. The situation of this city is pleasant, as my Lord said, but the water is not. But the water is not. Everything is pleasant, but the water is not. The water was foul. It wasn't no good. Go ahead. He said, the ground barren. The, and the ground was barren. Like your business could be barren. You ain't seeing money coming to your business. So what you do? I just want to tell you what you do. Go ahead. Verse 20. No lie, because you got the damn truck. Verse 20. And he said, bring me a new course. Course. A new what? A new cruise. Cruise. No. A new cruise. Like a, a new cruise is like a, a job. It's like one of those genie bodies. So it's like a job, right? Go ahead. He said, bring me a new cruise. Bring me a new cruise, come on. And put salt therein. He said, put salt therein. Go ahead. 
and they brought it to him. And they brought it to him. Go ahead. And he went forth unto the springs of water. Yeah, he went to the springs of water. The more clean the water, the more better. Okay. So if your brothers know where springs water at, we'll get some spring water. Clean out your place. Watch clean out your home, man. The more clean spirits. You have that operation. Yeah. The unclean spirit that's in your house, that it was in your house, is now clean. Wash all the rooms. Wow. Wash it with water and salt. And after you do a, 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 a bleach treatment, then go back again. Cast the spirit that was in your house. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, good night. With salt in there and said, Thus said the Lord. He said, Thus says the Lord. I have healed these waters. I have healed these waters. There shall not be from that any more death or barren land. Get yeah, no barren land. Ain't gonna be no more barren land because he put salt in the water. So you so you can use it towards your business or your home, whatever the case might be. Now what realm, Romans 15 verse 4 says, sir? Now apply it, apply it to your life. Apply it. Because, because salt, unclean spirits don't like salt. What the doctors tell you? Stay away from salt. They fucking lying, man. Huh? They lying. I'm 44 years old, about to turn 45, man. Man, I consume a lot of salt. My, 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 my kids can tell you. I love salt, man. Yeah. Yeah, I love salt. Yeah. Sweat, sweat it out. And your body, salt produces electrolytes. Electrolytes is good. Gatorade has electrolytes. And they make billions of money out of Gatorade. It's just salt water. But they mess it up, they put a little sugar in it. But it's alright. You know, if you drink it once in a while. When a, when a, when a baby's, um, they get, used to get babies, when a baby was sick or whatever case, the doctor said, give, give the baby a little Gatorade. Because I have salt, it's going to replenish that baby. It's another chemical, another thing they used to get baby all. Uh, I they get baby, babies for it. Some, some type of water, but it has salt in it. They say if you don't have that, get them a little Gatorade. When your child is sick and feeling nauseous, give them a little Gatorade. All right? Romans. You got something? Yeah, Romans. Right, hold on, guys. Romans 15, verse 4. What sort of things were written a four time? What is it written a four time? Written for our learning. Yeah, so this book just read off. Uh, what is brothers just read Second Kings? Unless you put salt in the water, and the land became uh, fruitful again. It became fruitful again. Yeah, but you gotta pray with it though. You gotta pray. He said, the name of your house, Hashem, the shaft, please cleanse my home and cast out any unclean spirit in this house. Your house, Hashem, your shot. If you had people that was worshiping Pharaoh or Hope Temp in your house, man, you gotta wash, it gotta wash that place out, man. Because they bring different spirits into your vibration. And that could affect your business too. That could affect your business. You understand? Yeah, yeah we, man. Yeah, we do patience. I say what? And we do patience. Come on. And comfort of the scriptures. Uh -huh. hope. That's right. We have hope. Give me a first king, bro. Sorry, first Corinthians. Twelve. Nine. Verse nine. Then we're going to jump to twenty-eight. You understand? Yep. Yeah. Twelve, verse nine. Yep. Yeah. Then jump to twenty-eight. That's not being it. This is not the Hebrew Israelites. The Negro and the Islands are the real Jews. That's something they can't see, huh? Huh? Stop eating it, girl. Yeah, alright, whatever. Yeah, go ahead, huh? Yes. This is 12. Yep. Nine. Come on. He says to another fish. To another what? To another fish. Come on. By the same spirit. By the same spirit. To another the gift of healing. A gift of what? Healing. A gift of healing. By the same spirit. By the same spirit. The gift of healing means, you know what healing mean, means there? It means a means of healing, a remedy. So big man, you good? Huh? 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 